Welcome to Championship Wrestling from George. I'm Gordon Soley, your host, and we've got quite an interesting hour in store for you. We're going to be seeing uh, Rip Rogers in action a little bit later on, and of course the tag team champions are with us, and they are uh, likely targets for a lot of people. I'm referring, of course, to Ole Anderson and Thunderbolt Patterson. Well, you know, uh, I've got a couple people after our belts. I'm talking about J.R. and his band of friends. Well, you're not going to get those bells released. You're going to have to take them. But I'll tell you what, I do have a little present for J.R., and I'll let J.R. see what it is, and I'll let everybody at home see what it is just a little bit later on in the program. All right, so we do have a present coming up for J.R. That should be interesting indeed. And, uh... Mr. Soley, just a minute, Mr. Soley. I've got an official complaint to register to you, the people in the studio, and the National Wrestling Alliance Selection Committee. Because everyone knows, I'm the number one man around this place. I'm the man with the glitter. I'm the man with the gladder. I'm the man with the personal valet. I'm the man with the body. I'm your number one wrestler in the NWA today. And I deserve a shot at the NWA Heavyweight Champion and not Wildfire Tommy Rich. So, Gordon Soley, what's going to happen, you know, everybody here knows that I'm number one. So what's going to happen, Gordon Soley? This right here is going to be Tommy Rich's hair. There's too many blondes around this place. Get a close-up around this right here because we're going to get rid of Tommy Rich because we're going to spray paint his hair pink. We're going to spray paint his hair. We're going to spray paint everybody's hair who gets in our way. And we're going to show everybody why we're the number one blondes around this place. Hustle Rip Rogers and Miss Brenda Britton, his personal valet, were the blondes of WTBS. And Tommy Rich, you're going to get it, baby. Mark my words. Now, if I've got a match here, let's start my music so I can get in that ring. Start my music. Oh, fine. Well, Tommy Wildfire Rich. Broke that up, and thank goodness you did. You know, I want to say one thing. I take one step at a time. You know, Tommy Rich used to get a little anxious. Well, I've got a shot at Ric Flair, Rip Rogers, because of promotion say I get a shot. So right now, that's all that's on my mind. You talk about, you're going to come out here and paint Tommy A. Rich's hair pink. That wasn't Tommy Rich in that ring. If you ain't man enough to come out of here to me, don't compare me to nobody else. Rip Rogers is going to take a whole lot more of a man to whip my tail and get me down to spray paint my hair pink. So Rogers, is what I'm telling you is, anytime, anywhere, any place, when I get through with Flair, you and that flea bag both, you better be looking out, because I'm going to get you both. Well, I'll tell you what. He said exactly what was on his mind, and he said it in no unquestioned terms whatsoever. Right now, here's a very special word of interest. NWA Wrestling Tonight, Municipal Auditorium, Columbus, Georgia. Match time is 8.15. Tomorrow afternoon, the Civic Center, Knoxville, Tennessee. Match time is 3 p.m. Friday, March 22nd, Memorial Auditorium. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Match time is 8.30. Sunday, March 24th, the Omni in Atlanta. Thursday, March 28th, Convention Center, Cleveland, Ohio. Friday, the 29th, Civic Center, Saginaw, Michigan. Saturday, the 30th, in the Fairgrounds, Columbus, Ohio. Sunday, the 31st, Memorial Fieldhouse, Huntington, West Virginia. I am really peeved. You people ask, what kind of man is Ole Anderson and Thunderbolt Patterson? Well, I'm going to tell you what kind of man they are. They are nothing but sissies. Look what they do. They beat up on a hat. Look at this. Look at this. They beat up on a hat. They nothing but sissies. See, a hat can't hit that. But look at this. There's nothing you can say to me, partner. Nothing. People who beat up on hats can't say nothing to me. Hey, first of all, I got a little present for him, a little surprise for Mr. J.R. Just calm your boys down for a second. I understand he's got some VTR he wants me to take a look at. He's got Koloff or Crusher Khrushchev or whoever's got a couple of words Koloff. for me. you heard what it Koloff. Well, I'll tell you what, whatever it is, J.R., let's do this. I understand that you did bring some videotape to our That's director, right. so let's take a look at it at this time. This is the World Six-Man Tag Team Championship Cup, and this is one-third of the champions, along with Ivan and Nikita Koloff to my right, Crusher Khrushchev. That's right. Last time Ivan met Ole and Gene Anderson, they cheated and they took a fall on Scott Irwin. Well, this time I talked to Ivan, and he wants to bring in his nephew, Nikita Koloff, one of the largest animals in professional wrestling today, and one of the best athletes. And Ole and Gene, A Gene Anderson, you two have a record that speaks for itself. You've injured, you've hurt people before, but you've never gone against Ivan and Nikita Koloff. You've never gone against two Russian athletes that are proud of their country, that will defend this cup for anything. Ole and Gene Anderson, you be ready, because when Ivan and Nikita get in the ring, 
They're going to rub your faces right in the mat. Okay, well, we've heard the comments, and I guess everybody's been served fair warning. That's right. Well, you, hey. You've been no, served a fair guys, warning. No, 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 no. I know you're after those belts, and I come out here in peace. All I wanted you to do, you like to take things. You like to have things. You've been threatening to take those belts away from us. So I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if I could give you a little present? So I what's thought, what, what, here's what I... What, what, what oh, you trying worry. to do? You trying to bribe me? You trying to buy me? I don't need your gift. I got money, I got money, I got oil wells, and I got power. I don't need nothing you got to give to me. You understand? All I'm saying, all I'm saying is open it up, take a look at it. A little surprise for you, a little surprise Wait, for you. I take your gift, you. I take your gift, but I want to tell you one thing. The only gift you could give me is two things. One, sign them championship belt and give it to me right now. And the other thing, take you and this T-Bone Biscuit behind me out of town. That's the only gift you could give to me. Let's see what he's got here. Let's see. Take a look. Yeah, take I a take look. a look. Rough, I take a look. This rap kind of pretty anyway. See what he got for me. Yeah, I can't read. Yeah, I can read. Give yeah. it here. Give yeah. it here. Give it here. What's it say there? What's it say? No, what's it say, man? Uh, I ain't bother you, man. No problem. No trouble. Yeah. You know? Look behind the curtain. You can't read the whole thing? Well, it's what? Right. It says, look behind. I know you like surprises. Look behind the curtain and won't believe your eyes. What is All right. It? Well, what, curtain? What, what curtain? That's what fair enough. Place is right? yes, well, what curtain are you talking about? I don't know. What's going on around here, Sully? Beats me. Tell him to look behind the curtain. Hey, there's nothing back here. Nothing at all. What are you talking about? Hey. Wait a minute. Kareem Muhammad to get in the ring, and Kareem Muhammad can't because Thunderbolt Patterson is blocking his way. And wait a minute. There's uh, Brett Sawyer. Brett and Buzz Sawyer. They're both. We got a couple of surprises for him. I'll tell you, surprise the people and certainly surprise GR and his bunch. They did indeed, and there you see him. They're back and they're in action. The Mad Dog, Buzz Sawyer and Brett Sawyer. Right now, though, he